Hello and welcome to another tutorial by LearnPythonTutorial.com and today uh, we're going to talk about variables. Uh, this is going to be a very very basic overview of variables. We're going to show you how to create a variable and how to uh, call the variable. We're not going to really explain how the variables work or a lot of stuff associated with the variables. Um, this is just a we're just throwing this video in to uh, our chapter two here because we realized when we were going through chapter two, uh, working with data types, uh, introduction to data types actually, we realized that um, we need to show you how to create variables. So we're going to do that real fast. We're going to show you how to create variables and how to call variables. Um, unlike other languages, variables do not need to be assigned prior to giving it a value. So variables in Python are very easy. So let's just uh, get our interpreter up, which I already have my uh, Python interpreter open. If you do not, go to your terminal and type in Python 3 for Mac users or command prompt for Windows users and type in Python. All right, so we're going to assign a variable. Our variable is going to be A, and we're going to assign it by giving it equals and giving it a value. So we're going to give it a value of 7. We hit return. We just created a variable. To call this variable, we hit we type in a and hit return. There's our seven. Very simple to create a variable and call a variable in Python. Let's create another one, but we'll create one with a string. Var equals this is our var equals or I'm sorry, quotes for the string. Press return. And we create another uh, variable that holds a string. So let's call that variable. We'll call var and return. And this is our var. And it printed out the string or returned the string. This is very simple, very easy to create variables. Like I said, this is just a brief uh, overview of creating variables and calling variables. Um, this is just to help you with uh, our chapter 2 Python basics where we're going through data types and we realize that you need to know how to create a variable and call the var and call the variable to follow along this tutorial. We apologize for that and uh, hope to see you in our future tutorials.